Hello, TIs. Well, um, yesterday I wanted to make a post and talk about something, but yeah, something's been happening since yesterday evening, and you know, all throughout last night, that means AM2 to me, you know, and I don't know what time it is, it's probably about 3 o'clock in the morning, but um, you know, I told you, well, we all know about radiation and target individuals, and I told you about the magnetics and the radiation here in my apartment, okay, the best way to explain it what's been happening is have you ever like fell asleep for a second and caught yourself and like woke up you know and you were like startled because you felt like you were gonna fall and you just like you know well that's kind of like the closest way I can explain this but um yeah my body it'll stop it'll just shut down for a minute and I'll end up like falling and then catching myself but my body will stop um yeah so you can't go to sleep when that happens and you you know you're afraid if you walk to the corner that you know you'll just collapse for a few seconds like you know and you know, I've told you about how boxes could be stacked up normal and stuff and been there stacked up for months. You know, one on top of the other. You know, those uh, storage boxes and stuff. You know, and a few times I've seen, like, I don't know what it is. Like, the magnetics in the freaking apartment just, like, stop or some shit. I don't know. Whatever's, like... I don't know, but something will just break and all those boxes that are stacked up perfectly will come tumbling down and everything will just, yeah, fall. It's like something broke and boom, you know, everything just fell, whatever was keeping it together. Um, well, you know, sometimes... It seems like that's what happens to me because, um, you know, I told you that so, a lot of times it's like so hard to pick one leg up and then the other leg and walk because it's like I'm getting sucked down towards the ground <laughs> and I'm trying to lift my foot up off the floor. You know, same shit with, you know, I my phone must have, Landed on the ground at least 30 times yesterday. You know, things are like pulled out of my hand. You know, lighters. Phones don't drop that often. Believe me. They do not drop that often. You know, whether it be on top of a board, whether it be in your hands, you know. No. You're not going to drop your phone that often. And I've seen things fly off of shelves before. And it isn't no spirit. But, well, anyways, so I've been going through that all night. And, yeah, it's very freaking difficult because you're afraid anything you do, you know, your body's going to stop functioning for a minute. You know, and you're just going to stop. But, um, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, any second. But, you know, this time, it's been the longest. And this time is affecting my cat. My my cat. You know, I mean, I'm a big girl. Well, I'm not big. I should be big. But I still see myself as a, you know, I'm a big adult girl. Woman. Old lady. Whatever you want to call me. You know. But like I said before. You know. This cat used to stick by me while that shit was happening. Now he runs into the cupboard before shit happens because of his senses, and he knows. But he doesn't stay by my side no more, and I don't blame him. Because, um, you know, I'm a big adult. And, you know, 
it affects me more because of all the crap happening in my body and, you know, all the stuff I already do have. You know, so what they do to torture us affects me a lot more. But he's a little guy. You know, and I think he runs now instead of standing by me. Because, um, it's starting to affect him. Well, I just got confirmation because all this shit in my body breaking down, like just stopping, you know. And, you know, me trying to keep up and not fall. Guess what? He's experiencing it too. Man. That cat is walking along. And you can see he, he almost falls. You know. I don't. He doesn't lay down in dirt. But it's like the bottom part of him just fell in it. So he decided just to lay down. Because he's been enduring this. And going through this too. He jumped in the window. And it's like he got thrown out and he fucking landed, not like a cat lands, three different times. You know, he didn't land on his feet. He fucking just like, it's like he got thrown out of the window and he just bounced on his butt and freaking rolled this weird ass way. And that happened three different times. You know. He'll be on these slots of the freaking the bed frame and stuff. And you'll see him just stumble. You know, trying to keep, you know, keep standing. And yeah, you know, he doesn't lay in dirt. He, he keeps walking by and stuff and it's like he's scared to walk. I thought, I thought it was, um, I thought he was meowing and crying. Because he felt sorry for me. Or because, you know, I wasn't able to give him the love and attention that I usually do because of all this crap. And, you know, being afraid my buddy is going to stop on the way to the corner and stuff. Or, you know, getting a refill of soda for a dollar. You know, walking upstairs and, you know, having it all just like collapse because you can't do nothing when your body shuts down. And it's freaking weird. And it's weirder that my cat is being affected. That my cat's going through the same shit as me. You know, that cat's my best friend. God and that cat are the only ones I can trust completely. That I know ain't flipping on me. But, you know, flipping to the other side. You know, we all get go through points of sleep dip, sleep, sleep deprivation and shit from this shit, or waking up a million times during the night. Um, we all go through it, and then we go through. You know, when they put us through shit where they're gassing us, and all we do is sleep. 